In this tutorial, I'm going to show you an example of calculating the z-scores. This is actually a redo of a video. The formula for z-score is observation minus the mean divided by standard deviation. The typical symbols are z is equal to x minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. Those would be the typical symbols. In my example, let's assume the mean is equal to 15. The observation is equal to 10 and the standard deviation is equal to 5. I just made up those numbers. I'm going to plug the values into this equation. So I have 10 minus 15 divided by 5. This equals to negative 5 divided by 5, which equals negative 1. Now I can ask, what is the probability an observation is more than 10? And also I can ask, what is the probability an observation is less than 10? The first thing I do is I draw a bell curve. I draw the mean right in the middle, which was 15. I put in the location of the observation, which was 10. I would recommend putting the z-score of negative 1 and 0 in as well. By the way, the z-score at the mean is always 0. I will determine the area between 10 and 15, and I'll add that to the area above 15. So this blue area is equal to 0 0.3400. I determine that by looking up negative 1 in a standard normalized table. The area above 15 is 0 0.500 because it's half the bell curve. And these two areas added together equals 0.8400 or 84 percent. The whole area above 10, the observation of 10, this is gray area here, and it equals to 0 0.8400 or about 84 percent. The whole area under the curve, this gray area right here, is equal to 1 or 100 percent. The area that we just had was this dark gray area of 0 0.8400. So this light area, which we want to determine now, is 1 minus 0 0.8400, which is 0.16 or 16%. So 0.166 is the probability of an observation being less than 10. So an observation being more than 10 is 0 0.8400, that area there. And observation less than 10 is that area there, which is about 16%. So let me summarize for you and walk through the steps that I did. Step one is draw a bell curve. This is very useful, so I'll draw that in there. Step two, put in the mean value. In our case, it was 15 right in the middle. Step three, put in the observation, which in our case was 10. Calculate the z-scores. It was negative one and zero. Step five, fill in values and calculate. So the values were 0.1600 and 0.8400. This has just been a quick little example of how to calculate z-scores.